Ladies and gentlemen, the mind-blowing story you're all about to hear was inspired by two of the greatest things of our time. Miming and animal noises. Arr, 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 arr. So as you can probably imagine, you're in for a real treat. It was almost two years ago and I was hiking through the woods when disaster struck. I tripped over a root and dropped my tofu jerky through a hole in the ground. <gasps> then the unthinkable happened. I fell through the hole too. I didn't die, but I lost my shoe and started crying uncontrollably. <laughs> it's my shoe. <laughs> it was then that I heard a rustling behind me. A rustling that told me I wasn't alone. I slowly turned, but two dogs jumped me. I thought I was gonna die, and I almost shit my pants, but instead, I only made a huge fart. A fart that, amazingly, saved my life. The dogs began smiling, almost as if they could smell from my tofu jerky fart that I'm a vegan. But whatever the reason, they suddenly seemed to find me about as threatening as a daffodil. A daffodil drowning in dog piss. I reached out and pit the dogs, thanking them for not eating me, but jumped right back again when I saw a torch flickering before me. What I saw next, dear sweet people, I will never forget. The juror's box, the judge's gavel, the mangy fur, the ruffled feathers. I was in a cave full of animals and court was in session. I raised my fists, expecting the animals to attack. But apparently the dogs told everyone I was harmless because I was promptly seated in the visitor section next to a crow and a squirrel. I offered the squirrel my nuts, but he wasn't interested. So I read the ingredients. <laughs> no, no wonder he wasn't interested. Holy preservatives. Now, I can't remember the names of all the animals I met that day, but the feature players remain in my brain. At the front of the room in a large rock stood a gray owl, the Honorable Judge Who. To my right, the accused, a golden retriever named Ruff Ruff. To my other right, a distraught tabby cat named Meow. And in the middle of the room, on a pile of rose petals, they Meow's poor dead daughter, Mimu. Meow wiped her tears and proceeded to tell the jury, two cats, two dogs, a raccoon, a beaver, and a rooster, what had happened to you. Meow, meow, you mew, meow, 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 mew, 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 meow, 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 mew, 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 meow, meow, I don't think I need to tell you the entire courtroom was crying after that testimony. Pretty convincing stuff. But Ruff Ruff wasn't going down without a fight. Here's what he had to say. Ruff Ruff, Ruff, Ruff Ruff. Ruff 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 Ruff. Frankly, I had no idea what that dog was saying. All the other animals scratched themselves in confusion too. So Ruff Ruff did what anyone would do in that situation. He took a dump, picked up his shit, and began drawing on the wall. At first, I wasn't impressed. Looked like he was making nothing but a big stinky mess. But Ruff Ruff was not your average dog shit artist. To my amazement, he went over to the corner, picked up an old dried up piece of shit, crushed it with a rock into a fine powder, mixed that pigment with the other shit, and made a gorgeous raw sienna which he used for the highlights. After a few carefully placed strokes, here, here, and here, Ruff Ruff stood back from his painting and everyone gasped. <gasps> The painting depicted Ruff Ruff rescuing Mew Mew from a bear attack and chasing the bear off into the woods. 
Ruff Ruff then drew a big heart around himself and Mew Mew with a nice fresh piece of shit. <laughs> Ruff Ruff licked his paws clean and made his saddest puppy dog eyes looking as innocent as could be. But all the kitties in the courtroom just shook their heads at that display. They were certain that dog was lying his ass off. It was time for the jury to deliberate. While we all waited, a couple of the dogs and I went over to the corner and uh, spanked the monkey. Honestly, there was a monkey in the cave too. I don't know how he got there, but he was a naughty monkey and he needed a good spank. Finally, about two minutes later, the jury had reached a decision. A miniature Doberman read the verdict. Bark, 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 rough, rough. Bark, bark, bark. <gasps> Not guilty. I was shocked. So were all the other non-dogs. Meow, jumped rough, rough. Meow, and all the hell broke loose. Meow, rough, oink, caw, ribbit, quack, cock a doo I was in the middle of a full-blown riot. Ah, ah. For the second time that day, I thought I was gonna die. Ah. Then, from out of nowhere, a rabbit hopped out into the middle of the courtroom, screaming. I never even knew a rabbit could scream. I could never duplicate that sound, but it went something like this. Anyway, that's not the important thing. The important thing was what the rabbit was looking at. Mew Mew's leg moved. Then her eyes opened, ever so slowly. Mew Mew wasn't dead after her all. She'd only been knocked out. Meow jumped for joy. Everyone jumped for joy. Mew Mew's alive. Mew Mew's alive. Oh, I gotta tell you, I had never experienced such mirth, hardcore mirth. Oh, you ever been full of mirth? All jacked up on mirth? Actually, the word mirth sounds a little funnier when I take my tooth out. You ever been full of mirth? All caught, caught, jacked up on mirth? Mirth, 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 mirth. You ever been full of mirth? All jacked up on mirth. Oh, it was awesome. There was happy people shooting all over the place. And not just for me, everyone was full of mirth. pumps my leg and court was adjourned. Trial of the century, well, maybe not, but we must all remember to treat animals with compassion. Otherwise, like Ruff Ruff, we too could end up in the animals' court. Go vegan! <laughs>